Don't make it around. So, if you're watching this, please give it a share. So many people aiming their hatred at me this morning. Literally hundreds of death threats, incitement to murder, you know, crimes that the police should follow up, but they don't. Anyway, I just need to, um, I just need to, yeah, I want to clarify a few things. Yeah? This attack that happened last night, it was a terrorist attack. It wasn't hard, was it? The victims of this in the Muslim community it wasn't hard either. After every terrorist attack, you might have seen my tweets, after every terrorist attack where we're targeted by Muslims, somehow the victims of the Muslim community, which they're not, just as the same as we're not the victims in this attack, and it would be moronic to say so. After every terrorist attack by Muslims, the police then go around to mosques and have their photos taken, so they're stronger together, and they reassure all the Muslims that they're going to be all right. If police done that today, if they went around to non-Muslim businesses, companies, houses of worship, and started having their photos taken and assuring us that we'd be okay, it would be fucking moronic and a liberty. Just as it's a liberty when it's done, the reverse roles. Okay? This man who committed this was a terrorist. It's a disgusting act. Anyone watching those videos, it's sickening. Now, here's where the point comes. People are saying, I'm inciting hate. hate. That I've incited hatred. I just tell the facts and the truth, and I'm not going to apologise for that. Yeah? I just give you the facts. If Given facts about ISIS, how many fighters have gone abroad, 2,000, how many have come back and are walking our streets. If that's inciting hate, I'm guilty. If giving you quotes from the Quran that incite murder and war against us is inciting hate, I'm guilty. If telling you all the problematic problems that come from the teachings and the scripture of Islam, I'm guilty. But these are just facts. And I know you may not like them, and I don't like them. You know, I wish the Quran was full of peace. I wish Muslims were peaceful. I wish our country wasn't full of jihadist terrorists planning plots against us. Three in the last three months, five stopped in the last three months. I wish it wasn't that way. I wish that I was still working on a building site as I was nine years ago. Okay? That's what I wish. But that's not where we're at. Where we're at is we have a war, which I've been trying to tell people about. And that war will become two-sided, which I've also been trying to warn people of. Now, I left the English Defence League, and I left the English Defence League because of far-right splinter organisations. This man was from Wales. Time will tell. I guess he might be linked to or been part of some of these Welsh groups who I kicked out and had war with, who I've opposed now for years and years and years. I have done... There is not... I, I've said it yesterday. Please, one person, just one, give me one example of me inciting hate. We have... If I go out that door and I drop a bit of litter, I'm responsible. Jump on me. Huh? Anything I do, the police are jumping. Don't think if I'm in a sign, hey, the police are arrest me. All I've been doing is giving you facts. When I'm saying things are going to happen, that's not me wanting them to happen. In fact, I make it very clear. If you look at all of my speeches, dig up my speeches, hear what I said. People are digging up little snippets of my speeches where I said you're going to create militias. You are going to create the militias. What sort of idiot has not seen this coming? And what sort of idiot? We're banging our heads against the wall saying this is what you're going to create. Once you've created sectarianism, which you have, I haven't created it, you've created it, with the failed government policies to address these issues. You've, you've, you've created monsters. And I've said for years, I've been saying for years, when I left the English, English Defence League, I said we're five years away from creating English suicide bombers. Guess what? Five years later, some man has just run over a load of innocent people and killed them. How ain't you seeing this? If you want to shout me down for being correct, shout me down. If you want me to shout me down for trying to warn you about what's going to happen, if you want me to shout me down about trying to highlight all the extreme groups, well, throughout the years, I've called it on with blood and honour. I've called it on the National Front. I've burned swastikas. Anyone inciting violence and hate, I've called it on with. All the pe I've, I can, the f one of the first tweets I gave after this was how wrong it was. So then, but the, no, no one wants to run that. No one wants to run that. They'll pick the other little bits. Which, and for the record, I don't give a shit. That's for the record. Yeah? I'm not going to be silent. My cause is morally just. Completely morally just. In everything I say and do, I will not apologise for it. You know? I'm right, so I won't apologise for that. So all you people who are issuing threats and saying I need to be arrested, guess what? I'm not going to stop highlighting the truth and the facts about the problems that our country faces. I'm not going to stop. Doesn't matter. And all you saying, I'm dead, I'm dead, I accepted that reality a long time ago. So it doesn't play on my mind one bit. All right? So that's it. I want to clear up a few things. So that's it. They're my views. Don't everyone else be telling you what my views are. You see people sharing my views, share this. Share this so people hear my views. Okay? It was a terrorist attack. 
by a scumbag, by a lunatic. That's it. Innocent people are dead. Facts. Could have been prevented? Yeah, probably. Like every other attack could have been prevented. We know they are. So, that's it. Piers Morgan, blaming me, apparently. So I've heard, I've been messaged. All you say is exactly what I say with a posh shit accent, mate. That's it. Time to take the moral high ground, you prick. I mean, what you don't like, and all you people sitting here watching this, I have, you'll be fully aware that you can't say this. What I'm saying you can't say. Yeah? Most of you probably agree and think it. You can't say it. I've said, if you dig up my speech, let's pick Lee Rigby's death, for example. Countries' tensions are at the highest they've been. What was my first speech? My first speech went like this. There's over 600 Muslims in the British Armed Forces that are doing a lot more for this country than most of us. If you attack a Muslim woman walking down the street, you're a coward, you're a scumbag. You burn a mosque, you're an idiot, you're an arsehole. Yeah? You cannot target innocent people. Just dig my speeches up. All those people saying I incite hate. Tell them the facts. I'm not, just because, and I do this, I know that people listen to me. So I tell them every time, and I have done since for nine years. Hate, violence, separate Muslims from Islam. You can be angry with Islam scripture. You can be angry, you can highlight it, and you can talk about it. And this ain't going to stop me talking about it, and it shouldn't stop anyone else. We need to tell the truth of what's going on. And this, and, and this sectarianism is a result of failures to address these issues. That's what this is going to be. And they're going to create a conflict and a war in our country. I don't know why people are scratching their head. It ain't no surprise to me. But that's it. I just thought I'd share that. So many people saying I should be in jail. No, I can't give one example of what I said that incites hate. No, no one can as usual. You know, you're racist. Well, how am I racist? What have I said I've done? So anyway, you, uh, see you later. You didn't frankly have the balls to put country before party.